Peter James. Oh, yeah. All right, if you turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. We're going to start in verse 2. And we're going to just read the verse 3. The Bible says, For I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And the title of this message is My Jesus and Theirs. My Jesus and Theirs. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for this, uh, for this conference and the people here. And please just don't leave me alone up here. And just uh, bless me as you blessed the preachers before with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, amen. when I got saved, you know, some years ago, I was, I was, very, uh, I was very happy to find out that the, the Jesus of the Bible is, it was not the Jesus that I had been taught uh, growing up. That he wasn't just some, some prophet or some, you know, some guru who kind of, you know, uh, took from maybe Buddhism and Hinduism and, and kind of, you know, him and him and the fat Buddha, they might hold hands and have a dinner. Amen. Amen. You know, I was happy to find out that the real Jesus of the Bible is the King of Kings. Yes. That's you know, I was right. happy to find out that the real Jesus of the Bible is the way, the truth, and the life. That he's, right. that he's the Redeemer, that he's the door. Amen. And I'm right. happy you know, to know the true character of Jesus. Right. And you know, every week of my life, I get down on my face and I praise God for his character. And I thank God for who he is. Because the character of God is, is attacked today. And people will yes. attack the character of God to the point where even Christians are ashamed of, of who God and, and even Jesus and who he is. And, you know, I wow. love Jesus and who he is, but, you know, the Bible warns of another Jesus. Yeah. That's the right. Bible warns of another spirit. And Paul, the apostle, he, he even said to the Corinthians, saved people, Christians, he said, look, I fear that you might even, you might even receive this, this other Jesus. Yeah. I fear that you might even bear with this, this other spirit if someone comes preaching to you if you're not grounded. And, you know, we, we all know what this, this other Jesus. We know the world has another Jesus. We all know yeah, what he looks yeah. like. We've seen pictures of him. Yeah. And he's not just one, but, you know, the, the, the archety arch archetypical, you know, false Jesus is what? It's, it's the long-haired, you know, hippie-looking burnout hippie. from L.A. type of guy. Yeah. That's like what it is. Kinda, you know, he looks like he just smoked the blunt with, with fat food and dishes or something. But, uh, you know, he, he looks like... You know, some faggoty yeah. bastard son of a Catholic priest. On some stained, stained glass window somewhere, but that's the world's Jesus, and it's a false Jesus. Right? That's and right. I know that's a false Jesus because the Bible says does not even nature itself teach you yeah, right. that if a man of long hair is a shame unto him. That's yeah. right. So I know that's not my Jesus because the Bible says Jesus is the Word. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And, you know, Jesus is the word and spoke these words. I know Jesus isn't a hypocrite. So that's another Amen. Jesus. Yeah. That's and, right. You know, the world claims to love Jesus. And the world claims to respect Jesus. And, you know, the world won't just blaspheme Jesus on a dime. But once you start getting into details of who your Jesus is, they start to blaspheme him. Once you start to, once you start to read his words and what he actually said, they scoff at it. They hate it. They don't love him. They don't love the, the oh, yeah. words that he actually spoke. And they don't love the words of the Bible, but they claim to respect Jesus. Why? It's because it's another Jesus. Yeah, right. It's right. It's another spirit. Another Jesus of another spirit. You know, the, yesterday I was out soul winning, and he said, why is this, you know, why are you preaching this? I've been running into this other Jesus a lot lately. Yeah. You know, I've been running into this other Jesus. I ran into him on the plane, you know, talking to some sodomite who I didn't know was a sodomite oh, uh, oh, before oh, preaching it, heard the yeah. gospel, but that's another story. Let me tell you this story, because I have a lot of them. So I, I knocked on the door and this girl answered out soul winning and she was and I was preaching the gospel and I was I was preaching her, you know, I was just telling her the fact that look, we're unfortunately we're condemned because of our sins. And um, you know, before I could get to the good news, you know, some some roommate or something, you know, crept out of the shadows of the living room. And she crept out and she said, Hey, she said, We don't need that negativity. She said, I am a Christian. But we don't need that negativity, and we don't need, you know, that's not my Christ. She said, you're I coming know. up to me, you're coming up to my house, and you're telling us we're going to die because of our sins, we're all going to die? 
And I said, well, I'm just reading you Bible verses, but yeah, you know, she exactly. slammed the door in my face, and you know, I, I had to move on to the next door where someone, uh, a young girl, got saved. Praise yeah. God. Praise like, God. What did she mean? Like, I just came up. I was just reading the Bible. Yeah, I was just right. reading the Bible. Exactly. She wouldn't let me get to the good news. But why does why does somebody who claims to believe in Christ, who even claims to go to church, and probably does go to church, yeah. why would they slam the door in the face? Of somebody who's preaching the, the glorious wow. gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to their friends or their sister Jesus. or whoever, yeah. Yeah. and try to trying to save them from hell. Why? Why would you do such a wicked thing? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. But it's because her Christ. When she said my Christ, she meant it. It's not the Christ. It's, it's another her Christ. Christ. Yeah. Like, why is it so prevalent? Because one day there's you know there's a lot of there's a lot of other Jesuses right now, but one day right. the other Jesus is coming. Yeah, His right. name is the Antichrist. Right. right. And you know, all of these false denominations, you know, all their false Jesus. The Pentecostals have a false Jesus. Yep, yep. The Catholics have a false Jesus. The Muslims have a false Jesus. Yep, yep. But one day they're all going to rally around this false Jesus. That's and right. And who's going to be condemned? The true Jesus yeah. and his saints. And of his course. And they're going to be beheaded for the cause of Christ. Amen. These people don't love Jesus. But what are some examples? What are some examples of these false Jesus? Well, like I said, how about the Muslims? You know, the Muslim Jesus, they claim to lift up Jesus. They say, hey, we believe in Jesus, too. You are so, yeah. They don't believe in Jesus. Their Jesus is not the Son of God. That's right. You know, their Jesus isn't God Almighty. That's right. And, but Jesus said, all power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, you know, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned and already. Why? Because he has not, not believed, believed in the name of the only begotten Son, Son of God. God. So don't tell me you believe in Jesus. That's not the Son of God. The Bible says you better believe in the Son of God. But we don't have much time. But the Mormons have another Jesus. They have another Jesus that condones pedophilia and polygamy. And that's, that's brothers with Lucifer and, and Satan. My, that's not my Jesus. That's right. You know, that's not my Jesus. My Jesus, you know, he's not, he's not brothers with Satan. Yeah. You know, and he has no fellowship with the unfruitful works Amen. of darkness Amen. or Joseph Smith either. Amen. Amen. How, about jo how about the Jesus of the prosperity gospel? Great. You know, the Jesus that says, "Hey, if you're if you're uh, if you're right with God, you're probably gonna have a million dollars, and if, if you're <laughs> poor, well, you just not you're probably not right with God." But Jesus said, "What did he say? He said the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head." Jesus said, "I don't have I don't have a house." I don't have a mansion. I don't have somewhere to lay my head. He said, if you're going to follow me, you better expect that you're not going to have anywhere to lay your head. Amen. You know what? There's something I go to Psalm 50. There's something I noticed about these false Jesuses. When people are telling you about their false Christ, it seems to look a lot like them. It seems to resemble them a lot. You know, the burned out hippie opens the door and you know, he wants to tell you how Jesus smoked marijuana. You know, you know, a fornicator answers the door and he wants to tell you how this false Jesus, you know, actually had children with Mary Magdalene or yeah. whatever it is. Uh. But it looks a lot like them. In Psalm 50, uh, for the sake of time, look at verse 21. And he talks about all these wicked things that these people did. He says, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to, to deliver. You know what the Bible says about these people who want to attribute the characteristics of sinful man to Jesus? He says they're going to be torn in pieces. Right. And he says they're going to be destroyed. And one day, the Bible says, they shall go into the holes of the rocks and the caves Amen. of the yeah. earth. For the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. Amen. When he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. And Amen. one day God is going to get up off his throne, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's going to shake the earth like a snow globe. And these people are going to look up and they're going to see the false Jesus, you know, uh, just on the, next to their bed somewhere. Or falling off a crucifix while the real Jesus yeah. is coming with power and great glory to Amen. execute vengeance upon all those who know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And they're going to wish they believed in the true Jesus and that they didn't scoff at this. Really? You know what the Bible says? The Bible says that they have a rock, but it's not as our rock. Amen. The Bible says, Brother Stucky, wherever we are, he knew this was coming. The Bible says their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. You know, they have a rock. You know, we have our rock, the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible. They have a rock, but it's not as our rock. Great. You know what it says? Their vine is the vine of Sodom. That's These right. people have a false rock. Why? It's because they're wicked. Because their vine is the vine of, 
of Sodom. And they're, 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 they're wicked. And, and even the Sodomites have their own Jesus that wants to promote sodomy. And he yeah. says, uh. you know, they would, they, he, would, he would accept me, Jesus. But yeah. the Bible says he would have you stoned with stones. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, one day the law shall go forth out of Zion. Good. And they will be stoned with stones. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, God, for this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>